Hi, I just thought of an analogy for people who don't understand how, uh, what mental illness is like. This just came into my head and I thought I'd share it. So imagine you're sitting in a room and there's music playing, there's a song playing, and you're trying to tell yourself, I don't hear this music. I don't hear it. I don't feel it. It's like sitting in a movie theater during a horror film and not trying not to be scared. I'm not scared. This isn't affecting me. I don't feel these emotions of fear, of surprise, of shock and surprise. I'm not feeling these. It's hard not to feel the emotions of that song or the the emotions of that, of that movie. It's like being in the Holocaust and saying, I'm not scared. This isn't really happening. I'm, I'm this isn't affecting me. It's hard not to be affected by the emotions from the song or the movie or trauma from war. It's it's hard not to. And that's kind of what mental illness is like. Mental illness creates all those emotions in you and it's hard not to feel them, not to be affected by them. You know it's not true. You know there's no reason for you, for example, to be depressed. I mean, maybe maybe you have had bad things happen to you and there's reasons for you to be depressed. But sometimes mental illness happens and you feel things for no reason at all. And anyway, I just thought that might make things easier for people who don't, can't understand what it's like. Um, I can understand what it would be like not to be able to understand it. It's, it's, it's hard to imagine how it could be that bad for people, but it is. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that. I don't know if that would help anybody in uh, trying to get a feeling of what it's like more, but there, there's a bit of uh, ammunition for you. <laughs> Another tool for your tool belt. Talk to you later.